Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure speed fan to adjust the fan speeds inside of your machine. There's a few reasons you might want to do this, perhaps to blow some dust out of the fans, to cool your machine down more, or to have some random fun. Uh, this isn't supported by all models of machine, uh, some laptops don't necessarily work with it, as the manufacturer locks the setting to adjust the fan speeds. It's only controlled by the machine itself. So let's get to the configuration side of speed fan. This is BFAN version 4.43, I'll be providing a link in the description for you to download it, if you'd like. So, you want to go ahead and click configure, and on the configure window, you want to click the advanced tab. When you're in the advanced tab, click this drop down. You'll find all the different chips in your machine that you can adjust. In this case, mine is F71882F at 290 on ISA, so you just want to click this. And as you can see, it has all these settings, PWM, temperature, and fans, reverse, etc. So, what you want to do is, uh, PWM mode 1 usually is your first fan. So as you can see, I have a manual set PWM. By default, it will be on auto set PWM. This means the machine decides what amount of power goes to that fan. So you want to go to manual set PWM. For how many fans you have, uh, I think it supports up to 4 on this application, then just press OK. Once you press OK, nothing will really change. So what you want to do is uh, type a random number into here, obviously from 0 to 100. So let's go 70% on fan 1, and let's go 0% on fan 2. So fan 1 is my CPU fan, and fan 2 is my case fan. As you can see, speed 2 is slowing down, it was previously at 900, now it's at 0, and fan 1 is speeding up, roughly by 100 revolutions per minute. 600, 700. So, it's that simple to configure speed fan to adjust your machine speed fan, <laughs> I suppose you could say. Uh, as I said, this doesn't work on all models, so uh, I apologise if you've been disappointed by this. Uh, I was somewhat disappointed when it didn't work on my laptop, but uh, oh well. There's a similar application like this for Macintosh, I don't know exactly, I can't remember what it was called, but I'll put that link in the description as well, just in case you want to adjust something to Macintosh. So, until next time, over and out.